Hi guys. In today's video, we are going to be unboxing and foiling with this $20 swing line laminator. I will link it down below for you. I got it off of Amazon. I paid $19.99 for it. Um, so we're going to try to foil with it. So just so you guys know, this is a laminator. Um, so we will laminate something with it. And it is um, inexpensive. I know not everyone can afford the mink. So I have some items that we're going to try to foil with it and see how it works. So I just got it. It was shipped pretty quickly. It's in pretty good shape. Let's open the box here. Okay, so it looks like it came with some instructions, some lamination sheets. I think it said it came with five, yeah, five pouches included. Now, the reason I picked this laminator is, number one, it is an inexpensive option. Number two, um, these were the laminators that uh, Laura was using when she was on the road promoting her products along with the Minx. She had both. Um, when she did the stamp shows for foiling make and takes, okay? So I'm going to plug it in. Now, I know this machine comes in various colors. I think there's blue, pink, red, but um, I believe they're all the same other than being different colors. So this one was the $20 plain chain silver slash gray one, okay? In looking at it, on the back, there is a release button, so it will open the rollers for you so you can release. Um, there is an on and off switch on the side as well as a hot and cold. So we are going to turn it on and I can hear the rollers click on and we want to have it on hot. Okay. Now it said in the description that it has a seven minute heat up time. It is my experience when you are doing foiling with a laminator that you must let it heat up for a minimum of 30 minutes. It has little notches here that tell you what size everything is. So letter, photo photo letter you know whatever um there does not seem to be any other settings on here other than on and hot okay um so you can smell it warming up as the rollers warm up there's going to be a little smell the mink does the same thing now the difference between a laminator and a mink and again is a mink is designed for foiling so a mink is going to get hotter quicker there are settings from zero to five on the mink. You can get a mink in a small six inch opening or a large mink, which is a 12 inch opening. This is a nine inch opening. So this will work and we're gonna actually laminate with one of the sheets that it came with while we're waiting for that to warm up. Um, one of Leah's school projects. So these are the lamination sheets, okay? Do not use lamination sheets for anything other than laminating. Um, it just, uh, I know some people have made the mistake of thinking they could use laminating machines as carrier sheets. No, 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 no. So what does a laminating do? Laminating puts a piece of plastic to cover whatever you're trying to protect. So here's a bookmark I made. I stamped it out, colored it, and now I put it through the laminator so that I can have a bookmark. So... These are the laminating sheets, and laminating sheets have heat-activated adhesive inside, and what happens is the heat from the laminator will warm up this adhesive on the inside, and then it will cool down and solidify around your project. So this is an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. They do sell different thicknesses of laminating sheet. This feels pretty thin. So I'm going to guess this is a three milliliter laminating sheet. And then there is a folded edge and it even tells you to put the sealed edge in first. So we're gonna wait till this light turns green and then we're going to feed this in and laminate this for Leah's school. Okay, and then once that's done, we will attempt to do some foiling. So to prepare for foiling, I have some extra pieces of toner printed foil projects that I had from previously. So my assistant is here. Hello, assistant. Hi. She's gonna help me pick out some foils and yeah. I will cut them and we will hopefully foil with them. Okay. Okay, so let's 
so long. Wait, that's where. Okay, so hand me some of these foils. Also, you do not want to use mink carrier sheets in a laminator because it will not get hot enough. So I just have some simple copy paper here, printer paper that I'm going to fold in half to be my carrier sheets. So we'll just do a couple of these. You can also use parchment paper, but you do not want to use the plastic mink folders. These guys, um, it's just going to not allow the heat to transfer through enough, again, because this is generally not going to get hot enough like a mink does. So you want to use copy paper or parchment paper just to hold your pieces in. So we made two little carrier sheets there. Okay, it looks like our light is green. So let's try laminating first. Laminate my school. Yep, paper. you laminate your school paper. You always want to put this in folded side first, straight on until it grabs hold. And then you kind of want to hold it. You don't want to let it slouch down. Um, if you're putting foil in there, your foil could slide out. So you just want to gently guide that through and make sure it goes in straight. Now, if it should get jammed up in there, that's where the release button comes in in the back here. You can press that release button, turn your machine off, press that release button, and pull whatever is stuck this way. Don't pull it out through the out, okay? So turn the machine off, hit the release button, and pull it out this way if it should get jammed up or, or wrinkled up in there. This is not obnoxiously hot, but it is warm. I would not have, you know, small children touch this. Leah, you want to put your hands on there? It's warm, right? Yeah. Okay. It's not hot that it would burn my hand. Right. But, but still not... keep it away from small kids. Yeah, keep it away from small kids. I mean, it'd be nice on a winter day if you just need a little warm enough. It's like <laughs> a heated steering wheel, right? I'm doing some heated foiling here. It's very quiet. Not much of a bad smell. No, that'll burn off after a day or two of using it. <laughs> and now I could, like, use a... Okay, yeah, so here bucket. is Leah's school project. It is laminated, and now she can use a dry erase marker to do assignments. So it does work fine as a laminator. These are the thin laminating sheets. Luckily, her teacher printed this on cardstock, so it's heavy. But yes, the laminating sheets are very thin that come with the machine. <laughs> if I were, uh, if you're going to buy laminating sheets, buy the thicker ones, which are the five milliliter ones. Mill, mill, I always say that wrong. Okay. All right. So now we're going to try foiling something with the foil. I don't know if this is hot enough or not. Let's try it out. Here is a little hello sentiment. This comes to us from Crafty Critter all the way out in the U or in Australia. So if you're looking for foil art designs, you can go to craftycrita.com and check it out. Remember, they are in Australia, so it will convert over to US dollars and be a little bit less expensive. And my assistant has picked out this foil. Where's my roly poly? <laughs> and I'm just using scraps of foil that are in my stash here. But if you need foil, you can also pick that up at Crafty Critter or H and H, or the Not Too Shabby Shop. They all have foil. You always want to what? Dusty, dusty. dusty. Okay, dust is the enemy of foiling. You don't any. We'll see you don't how want this any, takes. You don't want any black spots in it, so that's why you need a dusty dust. That's right. And I want to make sure that um, I'm not putting any extra shims or anything like that in at this time. And we are going to feed this in folded edge first. Like I said, I don't know if the machine is hot enough. I'm going to let that go through. I'm also looking at my watch to make sure um, if we need to pause the video and heat this up for half an hour. We'll find out. We'll find out. Practice makes perfect. That's right. Will a $20 laminator foil as good as a $60 mink machine <laughs> we'll find out yeah. the mink definitely for one heats up quicker so if you do not want to wait as long um, that's what's nice about investing in a mink machine and again it comes in two sizes a six inch and a 12 inch but this is a nice alternative for someone who is just starting with foiling and you're on a budget or maybe you're not going to be doing as much foiling, then this is a lesser expensive alternative. Again, you want to make sure that this cools. This is not very hot at all. 
So we're going to now reveal the foil. Reveal, reveal. And see how it does. Ooh, that actually did good. That did really good. <laughs> wow, that is 100% foiled, guys. Oh my, I think we're going to say that this $20 laminator is as good as a mink. <gasps> Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try. Now, this is a pretty thick image, so it had plenty of um, surface area to stick to. We're going to try a little bit smaller of an area. That actually came out excellent. I mean, that's really 100% coverage. There's no dust spots on there. All right, so let's try something that has a little bit finer, smaller areas. Here we go. We have these tools. These are also from Crafty Krita. Would you grab me another piece of foil? A fact for the dust, you want to dust it, especially when you have, like, dogs around because you don't want any, like, dog or cat fur in the foil. You also want to take better care of your foil. It should not look all wrinkled up and thrown around like this did. <laughs> well, it's been sitting in a bin, so. Yes. Can't okay. blame us. Oh, uh, yeah. These are samples that we practiced with when we were looking for foiling companies. Even for the dust, even we don't have uh, any pets, it's still good to dust it, like just in case. Dusty, dusty, right? Yeah, dusty, dusty. Now, if you would like a beautiful rainbow dusty brush, you can pick that up in my Amazon shop along with the swing line laminator. They will be in my toner foil folder. Okay, so again, we're going to use just a regular piece of copy paper. Going to dusty, dusty our image. Dusty, dusty. We are going to dusty, dusty the back side of our foil. You always want to put the ugly side touching the toner. And the foil side up. Foil pretty side up. Okay, now we are going to feed this through our laminator. See how it does with a little finer print image here. Give that a moment. So obviously the advantage is you can use this as a full size sheet laminator because again, it has a nine inch opening. The price point, you can't beat $20 for a laminator. Um, the disadvantages are, again, it's not specifically designed for foiling, so it may take longer to heat up and you may not get the pressure. So what you might have to do is sometimes run your images through a few times, or you may even have to put a paper shim in there to um, get enough pressure when you're foiling something. So let's see how this does with a smaller, more finer print image here. Now this also did okay. There is a crinkle here. Now what happens is as this goes through, the paper starts to kind of shift. And so that could cause wrinkling in your foil. There's really nothing you can do about that. Just try to make sure that your foil is as even as possible. But as far as the areas that adhered, it's okay. I would say it's 99% foiled. There are some spots that have dust, but that could be, again, because my foil was a little bit crinkled. Um, but it is not bad at all. I mean, for $20, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, let's try a piece that we printed from home. So here is a piece that I printed from um, the Foiling Snobs Club Facebook group. has some free downloadable images that if you have a laser printer that you can cut... Yes. Um, I'm sorry, you can print and foil on your own. They are in, completely free for personal use for members of the Foiling Snobs Club. If you want to join our group, um, I will link that down below for you as well. Okay. Right, 
this one. We have some pink petals. A little post-it tape on there. That toy also looks pretty cool. It's very pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of looks like an illusion. <laughs> it's holographic, right? Yeah. And then, and then you can see like the flower petals. Cool. It's pretty cool indeed. Okay, there you go, ma'am. And again, what do we want to do? I'm going to grab that other paper so <laughs> we don't have the wrinkle in it this time, hopefully. Okay, what do we need to do before we run it through? Dusty, dusty. Dusty, dusty. And that. again, the back side of the foil. This is Flower Power Foil, which I believe is from H&H. H&H, you can get a large 12-inch roll of foil with 25 feet of foil on it. The regular colors, I believe, are $6.95, and the holographic colors are $9.95. They have free shipping with $50 worth of foil. And then if you have somebody handy around, you can actually cut the foil in half from 12-inch rolls to 6-inch rolls and share with all of your foiling friends. I got to say, I am very impressed so far with how quickly we are getting results out of this $20 laminator for foiling. I know, unfortunately, some of our FSC members have gotten bad mink machines, um where they just weren't heating up or they were heating up too much and smoking and people were very concerned with getting another mink. So, and I know minks are not cheap. They are very expensive. So here you can see we have some wrinkling again on the foil. We want to give that. Now this one definitely feels warmer and the machine has been running for about 10 minutes now. So um, it's definitely a little bit warmer. We want to always make sure that cools down before you reveal it because by cooling it down, what happens is that heat is allowing the toner to stick to the foil and it locks it in place. And then when you remove the foil, you do your reveal, your foil is adhered. Whoa. Well, I got to say, guys, I am definitely going to say this is FSC approved if you are looking for a budget. Does it compare to a mink? Not necessarily. Again, I have a little couple spots in here that are underfoiled, and I think it's just because this isn't getting enough pressure and heat at the same time. I don't really want to add a shim because I think adding a shim is going to take away some of the heat. But again, if you are a budget crafter, you don't want to spend the money on the mink or you can't find a mink, here is an option for you guys now. Looking at it from the naked eye, most people would not notice the imperfections, but uh, I notice the imperfections only because I do do foiling every day, and all of the little finer points on here are kind of missing foil. Now, there you can really see it. Do you see all the little squiggle lines here? Everywhere that it's black. Okay, see how those are not covered? The solid areas are covered fine. But all of the little fine lines, okay, and it's all over the panel, are missing foil. So from here, honestly, when you make a card and you put this together, the person who receives this is not going to notice. But I notice because, again, I just that's what I focus on. I want to make sure that my foiling is 100% perfect. Now, if that's going to bother you, that that is not 100% perfect, you see all of those black spots, then I would recommend that you purchase a mink. But for the normal person who's crafting, who may not be as particular with their foiling, they're only doing foiling every once in a while, most people probably aren't going to notice it. And for $20, hey, it is not a bad gig. It's not bad at all. So I would say, yes, this is FSC approved. For those of you, again, who want to get into foiling, can't find a mink machine, don't have the budget right now to invest in a mink machine, head on over to my Amazon shop. We have this bad boy for $19.99. 
um, by purchasing it through my affiliate link. It does help out the FSC group as well as my channel for doing experiments like this for you guys. If you have any questions about anything, don't hesitate to ask them down in the description below. But I would say if you're going to use a laminator, you do not need an $80 laminator. You just need a laminator that does get hot enough. This definitely does the job. It's the perfect price point. It's inexpensive. It's quiet. And it's going to do your foiling for you. If you have any questions, post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you click the bell and got notifications. I do all things paper crafting, foiling, painting, whatever, you name it. Thanks for watching, guys, and keep on foiling. Bye-bye.